Here we're at the Aoshima booth checking out a cool new anime sci-fi kit release that's coming up. This is the Gigant, this huge monstrous uh, aircraft from uh, the seminal anime Mirai Konan Shojinakte. That's not correct, Mirai Shonen Konan, which translates as uh, Future Boy Konan. Um, when did this anime come out? In the 70s or something like that? Uh, yeah, it says in the 70s there. So, yeah, popular anime, and this is a monstrously huge ship. This is 1 700 scale. Usually battleships are about this long on 1 700 scale. Just to give you an uh, idea of how big uh, this monstrous aircraft was supposed to be in the show. Now, it says these are trial products here, so uh, this isn't the final version of the kit here, just test shots. And this is coming out in July. So it's the massive gigant from Mirai Shonen Konan, and coming out in July this uh, very soon from Aoshima. And you can see over here we got the anime going there and a breakdown of the sprues. So, pretty cool kit. Checking out some new automotive releases here at the Aoshima booth. And these are all new toolings of some uh, very interesting vehicles we have here, uh, Japanese vehicles. Uh, this is the Subaru Sambar. It's a very tiny little workhorse of a truck. You can see these everywhere in Japan. Uh, this is coming out this July in 124 scale. Again, all new tooling of the mighty, mighty Subaru Sambar. And it's uh, apparently going to be in a couple versions, TC Supercharger and the VB Panel Van. Uh, so the ubiquitous Subaru Sambar. You can see these guys everywhere. Now moving down here a little further, we've got two very famous uh, Japanese four-door sedans. We've got the Nissan Gloria and the Nissan Cedric. Uh, very similar, uh, but they do have some slight differences. And again, these are all new toolings of these fine Japanese sedans. And these are also coming out in July. So three all new toolkits of some fine Japanese vehicles uh, coming from Aoshima. Here at the Aoshima booth, checking out some announcements of some new car kits that are in the works. Uh, now these don't have release dates and they're just, uh, just, they've just started uh, the development of these kits here, but we got two very interesting things here. We got the McLaren F1 GTR kit. Um, as you see here, it says the price is pending and the release sometime later in 2013. So this is a, just a, a, a rough uh, design prototype here of what they're going to be doing. They say no, no pictures allowed here, but uh, we're just giving you some quick information ahead of time. And there's also Toyota ST165 Celica GT4. Uh, it builds into the 1989 Rally Australia winner, apparently. Uh, and again, um, no release date, no pricing information on this, uh, but two new automotive kits in 124 scale. Uh, under development from Aoshima, so some good stuff coming for car lovers. At the Aoshima booth checking out a brand new, all new tooling Thunderbirds release. Here we have Thunderbird 3 coming out uh, this July. This is an all new tooling, uh, Thunderbird 3 of course, uh, piloted by Alan Tracy. Uh, you can see it here with its space going good looks here. It's going to come with a stand with a little moon base thing here. Uh, and this is the parts breakdown of the all newly tooled kit of Thunderbird 3. Alan Tracy's ride from Thunderbirds, FAB. Breaking news, breaking news from the Aoshima booth. I have just been told by Aoshima staff that uh, this new release of the all-new tooled Thunderbirds 3 is just the start of an all-new series of Thunderbirds kits that's going to be coming from Aoshima. So let's keep our eyes out uh, for a whole slew of brand new new tooled Thunderbirds kits coming from Aoshima. Here we are at the Aoshima booth checking out a new series of 172nd scale of remote controlled armor. Pre-built kits are, are, are ready to go, ready to fight. Uh, these are 172nd IR infrared. Uh, remote control guys. You get this cool controller here which also acts as the charger. Uh, nicely detailed kits. You get a T3485, uh, Sherman M4A3 I believe that is. Two of those. Uh, a Tiger. Another T80, T, uh, T3485 here. And out on the battlefield there you can see a uh, Type, 90, a, yeah, Type 97 Chiha driving around out there. And the Aoshima staff are driving them around here. And I don't think this one's got a light on, but I don't think I'm actually in control of anybody with this particular one, so interesting. <laughs> so cool, so some new 172nd scale infrared remote controlled armor models from Aoshima.